Good morning, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us on this Memorial Day. And uh, just say happy Memorial Day to you. Our message today will be short, will be brief, but I think it'll be something very powerful. Thanks good so morning, much for morning. joining us. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> Wow, let's see. All right, HR specialist, thanks for joining us. You know, on Memorial Day, it kind of makes you think about the ideas to remember and to give tribute to things that have happened in the past. And one of the things that I find that in our lives, it's important to we really remember and give tribute to things that we've done in our past. There's a tendency to think about all the negative things, the time you failed, the time that didn't work, the time you were disappointed. Thank you from Barbados, welcome. And so this Memorial Day, I'd like for us to think about the good times. Think about the times that whatever you did worked. Think about the good thoughts, how you thought something good was going to happen, and lo and behold, it happened. Think about the time you had a good feeling. You say, you know what? I have a good feeling about this person. I have a, a good feeling about this decision and where it worked out well. Think about your good habits, you know, where, you know, that night you decide to lay your clothes out before you go to bed when you have an important an important appointment the next day and you decide to leave a half hour earlier and lo and behold on the way there there's a traffic jam all kinds of crazy stuff happens and yet you get there to your appointment not just on time but early think about the times when you met somebody and you in a inside you said i, I trust this person i really everything i see about this person seems right and that you're validated so focus on those good thoughts. Get away from focusing on the bad thoughts, the failures, the disappointments. When you do that, as we go forward towards the, the next portion of this year, it's important to assess where you are so that you may, you may decide, hey, it's time to make a new start. As we start this next month in the next day or so, is it time to make a new start? Do you need to really assess where you are right now and say, you know what? I need to make some changes. Albert Einstein said insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So I challenge you, are you doing something over and over right now and expecting a different result? I hope not. Because if you're doing something over and over right now, expecting a different result, it can destroy what you're doing. It can undermine what you're doing. Someone is calling me. I have to let it in because if I touch it, it will undermine our broadcast. So hopefully they'll stop ringing the phone. Let's let that go for a minute. Hopefully they'll stop. Thank you. Please stop calling. <laughs> what happens if you're on Instagram and someone calls you if you answer it, it undermines the broadcast and disconnect the circuit. So we won't, we won't answer it. Hopefully they'll stop calling. Thank you so much. For those of you who, who listen and enjoy us, never call between 8 and 8.30. Because at that point, it interrupts our broadcast. Those of you on Instagram, can you still hear me? Okay. I hope you can. Great. Thank you so much. So let's go on with our program today. Is it time for you to make a new start? It's important to make a new start because when you make a new start, it changes everything. And you have to assess your present situation to decide, is it time to make a new start? Is it the right moment to make a new start? And, and how do you decide that? Number one, you really, if your life is in a period of turmoil right now, if things are just going very crazy, if you're just upset and out of whack, then it's time to make a new start. If you're at the end of your rope, think about this. So many times you get to the end of your rope and you say, I just can't take it another moment longer. I can't go through this another moment longer. It's time to make a new start. You know, many times we get so focused on surviving that we forget about the power of thriving. 
you know, the Bible says we were put here to live life and to live life abundantly. So if we focus on abundance instead of lack and limitation, we can make a new start. You know, when you're at that point in your life where you, your life is in turmoil, you're at the end of your rope, you're sick of surviving and just die, thriving. One of the reasons is it may be that your life is not big enough to accommodate your dreams. When we have big dreams, it's important that our life move up to our dreams. You know, our dreams, we can dream an unlimited possibility. We can dream of doing things that we've never done before. But we can negate and undermine that dream by living a life too small to accommodate the dreams. So maybe you need to live a bigger life to accommodate your bigger dreams. And how do you live a bigger life? You get more exposure. You learn more. You, you, you associate with people who are congruent with the bigger life that you are dreaming of. How do you know it's time to make a new start? Sometimes your soul tells you. It's just something coming from inside that says a new direction is necessary. You can't put your finger on it. You know, you, you didn't read it somewhere. It's a feeling in your heart that it's time to make a new start. It's time for a change. And then finally, say yes. You know, when new possibilities come to our lives, sometimes when we are focused, so focused on all the things that did not work, we we'll let that possibility pass us by. When new relationships come into our lives that can really transform our lives, we can be so focused on past hurts that we let it pass us by. So today, this day, this Memorial Day, let us focus on the good. Let us think about the things that tell us, that indicate to us, that share with us that it is time to make a new start. So thank you so much for being with us today. Welcome, Sade. How are you today? This has been our message on Memorial Day. To focus on the good things you've done and to make the changes necessary so that you can be what you want to be. Do what you want to do and have whatever you want to have. Always knowing that the best is yet to come.